Hello folks, so I just finished another project and I don't know if you can hear Kane barking outside. I'm not going to wait for him to stop because he can go on for a long time. But I did something I never did before. I captured the Pac-Man Nebula with a one-shot color camera in true color. And I want to show you how it came out. And another thing that I wanted to show you, this is where I actually do all my processing from. Um, I, I do my imaging sessions and live sessions upstairs at the upstairs desk but I like working down in the basement because this is where my heavy duty equipment is I've got my i7 computer here my my widescreen monitor and um, I'm usually the only one who comes down here people tend to think our basement is haunted even I saw a ghost down here and I don't even believe in ghosts but I'm going to tell you what I saw at the end of this video but right now I want to show you my my latest capture and how it compares to narrowband. So here it is, my Pac-Man Nebula with a one-shot color camera. It's hard to believe I've never actually used a one-shot color camera on the Pac-Man Nebula before. And I have to say, it came out better than I thought. And that's usually the case because I always expect the worst. Because I couldn't even see this Nebula when I was capturing it with my 15-second exposures again. But I'm pretty happy with it. And um, what I want to show you is, um, I'm not sure about the stars. I made two different versions of this. Here's one version um, with a little bit bigger. I like a rich star field, by the way. I don't mind that. But I did de-emphasize the stars with this picture on the right. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole process of what I do. Again, I've already done that with the Pleiades and Andromeda Galaxy, if you want to look at my prior videos. But which one do you, which one do you like here? I think I'm leaning towards the one on the right. But um, I really like this true color with the one-shot color camera. I didn't think Pac-Man would come out that bright. So um, I'm impressed. And um, let me show you now what it looks like in narrowband that I captured last year. Okay, so I shrunk my face down, by the way. I noticed it was a little bit too big in that last one, blocking some of the picture. But here it is. This is my true color broadband image on the left and my narrowband Hubble palette version that I captured last year on the right. So what do you guys think? Now, um, on the right, um, it's in the Hubble palette. It's a false color image. And it, it false color in the Hubble palette does have scientific value because... It's really set up to show where hydrogen exists in the picture with the gold area of the nebula and where oxygen exists with the blue area. Although in my picture, I'd say it's lost its scientific value because I took extra steps to make it a little more pleasing to the eye. Now, I'm always biased. I Usually, the last picture I capture and process is my favorite. It just seems fresh and new. While all my other pictures seem like they're on the day old rack, a little bit stale, this is really making me rethink, uh, you know, just recapturing all these previous objects I've done before and trying to see how they look when in um in in broadband. Of course, I I still do narrowband when the moon is out. That's one advantage of narrowband; it fights all that light pollution from the moon. So, hmm. So let me know what you guys think. Okay, I am back in the basement again and you know what's kind of sad? This place used to be a hangout. So many people used to hang out down here. We used to play foosball, video games. It used to be a fun place, but you know what? People, they grow up, they evolve, they move on, and now I'm the only one that's left that still comes down here. But so many people still think this place might be haunted. And let me tell you what I saw. Now, I was sitting on the couch over there watching TV, and out of the corner of my eye, I could have sworn somebody was looking at me on the staircase. So I look over there, I didn't see anything. Then I'm watching TV again, and again, I saw something. But no, nobody's over there. And after a third time, I walked over to the staircase, look up, 
nobody there. I'm thinking, what the heck do I keep seeing? So um, I just forgot about it. I'm watching TV, maybe a half hour later, okay, I'm done. I go up the stairs and I walked right through something. I don't know what it was. Um, I didn't feel anything, but it was like an image that I walked through and I'm thinking, was that what I saw on the staircase? And I bolted up the stairs and I'm sticking to my story. I saw a ghost. I don't know what else it was. And that's my story. So who knows what I saw? But it's, it's a fun story that seems to creep people out when I tell them. And, uh, and, and everybody else seems to have their stories around here too. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.